Let's interpret this histogram. So first off, a histogram has quantitative data across the bottom, numbers, not categories. And the height is still the frequency. So in this problem, it actually says bar graph. It is technically a bar graph, but it's a specific type of bar graph, so it would be a histogram. So we have a group of adults who are asked how many children they have in their families. This histogram below shows the number of adults who indicated each number of children. So, for example, this first bar, the height is three, three adults said they had zero children in their families. This next bar, the height is eight. Eight adults said that they had one child in their families. So the numbers across the bottom are the number of children, and the height of the bar represents how many people answered that question in that way. So let's see, how many total adults were questioned? So again, each bar represents a certain number of adults. That's three adults. This next bar is eight adults. And we have five adults, and two adults, and zero, and two adults. So we have three, eight, five, two, zero, two. Those numbers represent how many people answered in those ways with those number of children. If we add those numbers up, we'll know how many total adults were requested to answer this question. So that would be three plus eight plus five, plus two, you don't really have to have the plus zero, but you can, plus two, 20 adults. 20 adults were in the sample for this, probably a survey. All right, now, how many adults had exactly four children in their family? So we go to the four children, and we'll, we have a gap here. Unlike with bar charts where gaps are irrelevant, they don't mean anything, with histograms, gaps are very important. That means that nobody answered having four children in their family. So our answer here is zero. No adults answered that they had exactly four children in their family. What percentage of the adults question had more than three children? Now, this is a combo question. First off, what percent? We're going to need to figure out the partial over the total and then times by 100 to get percent. So that's our basic uh, formula to work out the percent of adults. First off, how many had more than three children? Well, more than three children, we wouldn't count any of those. The only ones we'd account for are those, and we, in fact, only get five, because there were none with four. So the height of this bar, this bar represents two adults. So the partial would be the two adults that answered. The total would be the 20 adults that were in the sample. And we compute that, and it gives us 10%. To double check that operation, we can double check all of this. So like the 3 plus 8 plus 5 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2, there's the 20. 2 divided by 20, 0 0.1 times 100 there's the 10%. Oops. All right. I hope this helps.